What's up, you guys? It's your boy K back with another video. And as you can see, got the big stain right here, man. I'm about to show y'all how to drive a manual. So let's go ahead, hop in this joint. You feel me? This right here, this right here, this right here, this right here. This is a manual, okay? Let me low key out. Oh, you can see because the ambient lights you did. This is three pedals gas brake clutch you feel me never clutch but always clutch never clutch but always clutch you feel me oh that's very important you know what i'm saying i don't want y'all to get it confused and think you got to use your right foot to be doing all three no you know what i'm saying the right just kind of just think about an automatic okay and an automatic you get in that joint you put it in park, reverse, drive, whatever. So whatever gear, just say, let's say we smack it in and drive. You go use your right foot to press the gas. You go use your right foot to press the brake. Same thing in a manual. Same thing. Use your right foot for the gas, right foot for the brake, and then your left, the one that usually just be chilling all the time while you're driving. It's just chilling, kicking up, ain't doing nothing. You use that one for the clutch remember that okay so now that's out the way and i feel like i beat that in your head now let me show you how to start it and put it in gear so on most cars it's pretty much the same thing you just turn the key of course the car is going to cut on we're going to go ahead and try to start nothing's happening right nothing right because you got to press the clutch press the clutch then turn the key and look at that the car is on we need oil change look at that so make sure it's a neutral like this bam 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 it's a neutral then you can take your foot off you feel me so so with that being said now you know how to start a car well how to start a manual transmission car turn the key as normal try to start it it's not gonna start why because you have to take your left foot and press down the clutch, which is called disengaging the clutch. When it's up, it's engaged. When you press it down, it's disengaged. So it has to be disengaged to start the vehicle. Now, once you got the vehicle started, this right here is the hard part. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm gonna show you a trick. This is the trick. This right here is called RPMs. One, two, three, four, all the way to eight, right? This over here, you know, is just your miles per hour. We're not focused on that right now. We just gonna focus on the RPMs, right? So here's a little trick. You wanna have the RPMs at 1500. So that's right there. Well, I'm going a little bit too high, but you know what I'm saying? You gotta fill it out and get it as close to 1500 as you can get. So once you do that, practice that okay let's just stay there practice that so take your right foot press the gas ever so softly not really ever so softly but just softly enough and watch the rpm gauge to where you got pretty much the dial at 1500 now let me show you what 1500 look like you see the line in between the one and the two the big one right there that's 1500 you feel me that big one right there in the middle between one and two boom 1500 now that we know what 1500 is, it's the same thing for other 1500, 2500, 3500, 4500, blah, 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 right? Okay, so now take your right foot and press the gas until you reach 1500 and hold it there. See it, just practice, see if you can hold it there. Once you master that, that's gonna help you take off and get out of first gear. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be easier for you to get out of first gear. You know what I'm saying? Now it's the back side of that. Now I'm gonna show you next, but Right now, we just need to focus on holding the car at 1,500 RPMs. All right, so now I'm about to show you how to put the car in gear. All right, so let's do it. So first thing you want to do, take your left foot, press the clutch all the way down. I mean, all the way down till you can't go no more. All the way down, all the way down. Once you got all the way down, you come over to the gearbox itself and you read it. One, three, five, six, four, two, reverse. So 
Some of them got safety mechanisms where you have to push down or pull up to put it in reverse. You're not going to worry about that. We're just going to literally go over and up. That's first. Now we're in first gear. You cannot put the car in gear without your foot being on the clutch. Now here's the tricky part. Once you're in gear, you cannot, and I repeat, do not take your foot off the clutch. Do not take your foot off the clutch. Why? Because you're gonna cut the car off. It's called stalling out. You're gonna cut the car off. It's gonna stall out. It's gonna fall on his face. Now you gotta start over. So make sure your leg is strong. Make sure you, you know what I'm saying, was eating your broccoli the night before. You know what I'm saying? Make sure if you need to, you know what I'm saying, have your little juice ready, green juice, or whatever. So now you got your foot down on the clutch and you get the car in first gear. Now we're taking our right foot and we're going right back to the to the trick of holding the car at 1500 RPMs. So look at me. I got my foot down, all the way down. Now I'm taking my right foot and I'm pressing the gas. I'm trying to see if I can get it to 1500 and hold it. It could be a little bit higher too. Don't worry about it. But right about there. Now, once I get it there and I got my foot on the clutch and I got it at... 1500 rpms i'm slowly going to take my left foot up and i mean slow you feel me i mean slow you feel me once you do that the car is going to uh either move forward or it's going to roll back a little bit but don't mind just keep lifting your foot off lifting your foot off and then the car is going to move forward once you get it to the point where the car is going to move forward the rpms that you get at 1500 is going to want to drop it's your job to keep them from dropping. You have to keep it at 1500 or higher. And I'm not saying like go crazy, but just keep it at 1500. Don't let it drop. You know what I'm saying? So let's try it. Look at my foot. You see how slow I'm lifting it up? Look at the car. It's moving. If I give it gas, I'm taking off. Now, mind you, that was a very, very, very soft takeoff. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't even at 1K. You know what I'm saying? But that's because I kind of really just went against what I just told you because I've been driving manual for so long. It's kind of just kind of easy to me now at this point. But never mind that because I'm showing you this trick and you need to know this trick. Now, once you get it and you got the car moving, like I said, you keep the gas. You keep giving the gas. But you do it slowly. You don't just... You know what I'm saying? Go crazy, stab on a gas pedal. You do it slowly. Now, the car is going to be moving. And then your 1500 that you're holding it at is going to want to drop. You just give it a little bit more gas. And I'm talking about with your SpongeBob big toe. You just go like that. You don't want to stab it. You just take the big toe and go like that. You feel me? And then keep bringing your foot off the clutch slowly. If you do it slowly, the next thing you know, your foot is off the clutch without you even realizing it, and off you go. Simple as that. So, we about to do it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. There we go. And we off. We off. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Now, once you take off, you gone. You in first gear, you moving, you grooving. Now, oh my God, what do I do? Don't mind me rolling back, cause I'm just rolling back. But oh my God, what do I do? I need to switch gears, right? Okay, so now we're in the next phase of life. You know what I'm saying? You gotta switch gears, super easy. What did I tell you to do before? Press the clutch instead of going forward in one, all the answers is right there on the gear shift. You bring it back into two, but you always have to press the clutch down to switch gears and then lift up on the clutch. Now this time you probably do need to give it a, well, not probably, but you most definitely should give it a little bit of gas or make sure you just try to keep the RPMs where it was when you started to shift. So if I'm at 2K RPMs and I'm at the shift, matter of fact three if i'm at 3k rpm and i'm about to shift into the next gear so second or third you know what i'm saying i'm going to disengage the clutch 
press down on the clutch, shift as fast as I can to the next gear, give it gas while I'm letting off of the clutch. So, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't like kind of shock the transmission and stuff like that, tear up the clutch, you know what I'm saying? So newer car, you don't have to worry about that because it's going to rev match itself pretty much. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. Now let me show you how to easily move through gears in the transmission, okay? So here we go. We always start with the left foot, press it down, come over to the gearbox. I'm going to pull it in fourth gear so you can see what I'm talking about. Here it is, reverse. So press down, reverse, or pull up, reverse. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm back and forth, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So you got the um, clutch down, over, one. Come back, two, up, three, four, over, five, back, six. Super easy. Let's do it again. Over, up is one. Come straight back, two, up, straight, three, straight, back, four, over, up, five, and straight, back, six.